And there's some stuff going on. Drew flips Ricochet out of the ring. So the women's match, we had a final three. Here, we really had a final six. Yeah. Damian Priest, Cody Rhodes, CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn, and Gunter. That's six, right? Yeah. Yes. So uh, they're all going out for a while. They're pairing off. and uh, I hope Punk didn't get hurt here because he took a future shock DDT, and man, this dude grabbed his triceps, and he went mm-hmm. down, and he went right over to that referee in the corner, and they had a long conversation. And I suppose it's possible he was trying to work everybody and – you know, maybe he was supposed to be down anyway and just figured, you know, if anybody saw it, I'll, I'll sell my, my tricep or whatever. But, I mean, he was down for a while. And he came back and, you know, he he did the rest of the match. But, you know, that match that he had with uh, uh, Moxley where he tore his triceps, like he tore his triceps early in the match and he did the whole match and I didn't know about it until later. So hopefully he didn't get hurt. But, I mean, one thing I can say for sure is that this dude was Hired. Yeah, that's true. He was fucking gassed. And he had to go a long time. It's one thing we got six guys and you can be down while other guys do spots. But, you know, Drew sends out Gunther and hits everyone with the uh, Claymore. And Cody ends up on the apron, yanks Gunther down to the floor. And so it ends up with Punk and Cody. And so sometimes in the Rumble, when it comes down to two guys, boom, 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 tossed, it's over. Sometimes... And probably the best one was when Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker were the last two. And they just, like, oh, had yeah. a match. Yes. And they had an awesome match to lead to the to the end of it. That's what Punk and Cody did. And Cody has had 100-something matches this year. He's in shape. He looked great. And Punk was struggling. Although I will say, to his credit, he was fucking tired, but he did everything. Like, he gutted his way through this match. But, like, every now and then he would just be leaning on the ropes. And, you know, don't tell me this bullshit about how he was selling. You don't think I've watched all of CM Punk's matches in AEW? This was not CM Punk's selling. He was tired. But he did make it through. And uh, as you'll get to, Cody tossed no. him out to win. But you, you just skipped right over my favorite part of the entire night. What is that? So I guess uh, Parade of Finishers, Sammy gets to hit his finish on Drew, who he hates. But then when he eliminates Damian Priest, Drew recovers and dumps Sammy. So there's still an issue going on. So the final four is the victims, Cody Rhodes and CM Punk, and the massacreers, Drew McIntyre and Gunter. You recall... Oh, yes. You recall that approximately nine months ago, Drew McIntyre and Gunter were, two th- were two-thirds of my favorite wrestling match ever. Well, here they kind of did a rehash. Or to see who could throw the hardest chops. Only instead of chopping each other, they were chopping poor, innocent Cody Rhodes and poor, helpless CM Punk. It was cruel. It was brutal. It was violent. It was glorious. It was awesome. And uh, eventually, as you noted, Drew uh, Drew stands alone. Drew has claimed the world. Somebody here got at least two claymores. I think it was Cody. But uh, he's standing tall. Clearly the best wrestler in this match at this point. The win is his. All he has to do is not screw it up. Oops! And he gets thrown out here by, uh, it was, uh, blah, blah, blah. Who the hell threw him out? Cody. Punk threw out Drew. And Thank you. Cody threw out Gunther. Thank you, you're right. Punk threw and out And I Drew. actually think, because of the way they've been doing the storylines, that I think that the Australia show, the uh, Elimination Chamber, yes. I think it's going to be Cody, I'm sorry, uh, CM Punk versus Drew. Okay, yes. The winner gets Seth at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. and CM Punk wins that match. There you go. So, yes, and, uh, I can only think... I know Drew's been kind of a gray area babyface for like three months now. There can be no coming back from this. He looked like such a fool here. No one could possibly cheer for this man at this point. And then we had Cody and Punk for however long that went. It felt longer. Too long. Yeah. It was It was not bad. It just went forever. There was one point where uh, Punk has him up on his shoulders and dumps him over the top rope to the apron. But Cody catches himself on the apron, and Punk stops and goes, Ah, God damn it, I thought I won. Dude, he's right in front of you. Kick him. Kick him very hard and knock him to the floor. He just slumped in the ropes, and Cody just slowly rolled his (laughs) way back into the ring. I was like, oh, my God. And I will say, like, from the moment he came out, you know, Punk got cheered for pretty much everything he did in the match. But when it came down to him and Cody, the fans did pick Cody. 
and you could hear that like Cody would do a counter to the GTS and it would get a big pop and then Punk would try and toss him and they would boo. They he they booed when Punk pointed at the WrestleMania sign. So uh and he's going to get a WrestleMania made of it, I'm sure, but uh, we did get the very weak This Is Awesome chant, but other yeah. than that, it was just a quiet crowd. Yeah, yeah. Punk had a pedigree at one point, and the announcer was like, oh, man, if you people only knew the story behind that. I thought, well, tell us. You are the announcers. Let us know why that's <laughs> significant. And then eventually, Cody wins. First back-to-back -back Rumble winners in Steve Austin in the 90s. Well, before uh, he won, Punk hit a pedigree, and after that, he goes, I didn't wait 10 years to lose to Dusty's kid. And as soon as he said that, I knew he was sunk. And he tried another GTS. Cody caught the leg, tossed him. So, yeah. They uh, they throughout this match they would show shots of the skybox, and uh, Seth was in, Seth was in one skybox, and then they showed Roman and Paul, and Paul was just looking at Roman longingly. It got down to two CM Punk and Cody, and they shot back to the skybox and. Paul's looking at Roman wide-eyed. Roman's sitting there, with no reaction. I need a person in my life that looks at me like Paul Heyman looks at Roman Reigns. <laughs> Don't let your wife hear this. She'll be mad at you this time. Just longingly, just worried about what he's thinking. I so. will say, actually, the second time, when it came down to just, uh, just Punk and Cody, when they cut back to the skybox, Roman actually was looking angry. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. God damn it! And as soon mm -hmm. as they showed that look on his face, I knew Cody was winning. Because Roman doesn't have a problem with Punk. I mean, they've never done anything involving Roman Reigns and CM Punk. But right. they've had a lot of things going on with Cody and Roman. So as soon as Roman was really mad that it came down to Cody as one of the final two, I figured he was winning. And there is no, you know, we're going to build it up or whatever. As soon as the match ended, Cody pointed to the sign, climbed up under the turnbuckle. He pointed at Roman Reigns and he said, I'm choosing you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we know the main event of WrestleMania and uh, he ain't losing two years in a row. I can't, no. I can't even begin to fathom that one. So I think he's going to. Oh, you think so? We're going to make a bet here, brother? It'd be funny if he did. Well, it'd be <laughs> not a good kind of funny. I would, I would laugh a lot. What'd you think of the men's rumble there, Mustache McGee? Uh, well, there were six points at the WrestleMania sign all night. I counted, so... And all those people lost. Yeah, five of them had to be by Punk. Everybody, everybody <laughs> lost. Uh, 26 years since Stone Cold Steve Austin won twice in a row. Back to which back, Which yes. makes me feel fucking ancient at this point. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, like Hogan before that. And who was the other one? There was another one in the middle there. Was it Shawn Michaels? Sean Sh went right? twice, yeah. 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 I, I, I saw those and I remember them and I feel real old. Um... As far as the match goes, yeah, they they did storyline stuff. They did the fucking carrying cross shit with Bobby Lashley. They did fucking our truth and the Judgment Day. Blah blah blah. There were storylines woven throughout, so it made sense as a fucking Royal Rumble. Was it the most exciting ever? No, because the crowd was a fucking asleep because they just sat through three fucking boring matches for, uh, that oh. lasted like two and a half hours. So they're, they're, they're fucking, five hours. They're fucking yeah. dead by then. So like fucking CM Punk comes on like, yeah, dude, I agree. Get out there, buddy. Get on that fucking thing. Cody Rhodes like, I don't, I don't care. Like they could have gotten him there a different way. They could have given it to somebody. I say the same shit every year. Like I always want him to pick somebody fucking stupid. Well, there's only so many things you can say about a match. Yeah. You know, like we're gonna be dead someday, and someone's gonna be saying the same <laughs> shit about some Royal Rumble. It's true. You're, saying right you're now. gonna give this show to somebody like Dave gave you whatever, and then there's gonna be a Brian Alvarez. Maybe like, I'll give it you're to you, the Dave. I'm, I'm just as old as you, asshole. No, I'm much older. <laughs> and I'm in way worse shape. So well, I'm true. definitely dying I'll before you. I'll accept that. You will be at my funeral. You'll I be don't want to hear that. <laughs> Come on. He's not going to show up. At least I'll know your last name. <laughs> I won't just call you Mark in a black t-shirt. You could. A dismember it's that accurate. bones t-shirt. Or dismember the body. That's accurate. I still have that shirt. I wore it to the gym. Uh, 2006, it. right? Yep. Yep. That was that. Crazy. God, we're old. Anyway, Craig, what do you think of this rumble? Um, You know, I, I don't watch the TV regularly, and uh, I was I was entertained. 
I thought it was uh, pretty good. Mm. Thumbs in the middle. I Maybe mean, it's one of those shows, if you don't watch the TV, it's better. Mm. That was all right. I gave it two and three quarters. That's almost three. Wow, two and almost. three quarters. Two and three quarter, yeah. Huh. Didn't it jump up there? Oh eh, no. Wait, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'd do a three. But you know what? It doesn't fucking quarters. matter. It's all subjective. These glasses are bad. Just a minute, I have changed glasses. Let's all change something. <laughs> I need to change so many things. These are new ones too, but I can't see with them. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> He's gonna we, change his the red, the red hat pin. He had to get a strike. It was a bowling tournament. You gave away a picnic table of all the prizes. A picnic table. <laughs> this is terrible today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Corn buckle. Huh? What was it? <laughs> Brian. I, what? What was that? Come <laughs> <laughs> on, Brian. What's going on? Keep, keep going. On okay. lonely, lonesome highway. That's all I have for today. Okay. Well. Are you sure? Excellent <laughs> job, Granny. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I had a note down here for some stuff I was going to answer. Hello? <laughs> yes, he's all right over there. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.